Hey, what's up? It's DJ from GrowTech. Today, I'm going to show you how to assemble your scales for the fertigation manager. Okay, so because of a few unfortunate incidences with shipping companies, we're going to start sending out all scales for the fertigation manager unassembled. Here's the main component. It's a, called a load cell, and they're very sensitive sensors. So once you get your scales assembled, don't overly flex them, or squeeze them, don't place your plants on them, don't drop the scales. They're rated for 2,000 grams, which is a little over, well, it's about four and a half pounds. Um, so yeah, they're, they're really sensitive, so you wanna take care not to abuse them. All right, let me get into showing you how to assemble the scales. All right, so I have everything laid out here that we're gonna to need to assemble one scale. So if you don't have a little screwdriver kit like this, you're going to need to have uh, something like this. I'm going to be using an electric one today, but you can get a little kit like this that has some uh, hex drivers or Allen drivers, whatever you prefer to call them, um, and a driver head like that for $10 to $15 on Amazon. So this is, uh, this is the only tool that you're going to need uh, to have to put the scales together. So. I'm going to go ahead and start by installing this adapter here with a couple of screws. Um, and one thing to, to note is uh, these two uh, scale plates are identical, so you can just go ahead and choose whichever one that you want to start with. Okay, we have our adapter installed on the scale plate. Like I said, you could have done it on this one as well. Next, time to install the load cell. So the load cell wiring, you want to install it in this orientation. So the load cell wiring looks just like that. Uh, and if you, you know, if you mess up and you have it flipped over that way, so the wires on the other side, uh, that's that's all right as well. It actually, you know, you can install it any way any way you want. Uh, the only thing is, you will need to uh, if you install it if you install it upside down like this, you'll actually get negative readings on your on your fertigation manager. But there's an easy fix for that, and that's just inverting your scale calibration number. But let's just try and install it just like that. And start by just getting getting the screws so they're so they're you know snugged up but not not real tight so you can still move it around. Get your second screw in there. Okay, once you have both screws in there, you're going to want to hold the load cell right right where those screws are coming through when you tighten up. Because like I said, these are these are really sensitive. If you held it. If you held it right here, you could be putting some side force on it, which isn't good for them. Okay, so we have the load cell installed on the plate. Now we want to plug this in. There's only one way it can be plugged in, so you can't mess that up. I like to take it, twist it around, make a little loop. Plug it in and you can hear it snap and you can make sure that it's fully plugged in. Now you can put the top plate on. Once again, just get it get it snug so you can still move it around. Get the hole lined up right there. Get your second screw, put it in there. Okay, there it is. So when you when you tighten up these last two bolts, you're going to want to grab the top the top plate. Don't hold the bottom plate because that'll put unnecessary uh, side force on the load cell. So Grab just the top plate, hold it like that, and tighten these up, and that's it. The scale is assembled. Each one should probably take you two or three minutes. Once you get them assembled, take care of them. Don't drop them, don't set your plants on them, and don't let this connection become wet. So when I have these uh, running, and I'm growing plants, I always have them so the connector is on the top plate, like that. And that way, if you do get any, any overflow down here, uh, most likely your connector is going to stay dry. All right, thank you for watching.